for our meditation today on this first Saturday on the Vigil of Pentecost, we'll use the happenings at the grotto on the 13th apparition, which lines up with the mystery of the Pentecost. Remember, the rosary is represented in the 15 days that Bernadette visited the grotto. She was asked to do so by Our Lady. So the 13th apparition is on Tuesday, March 2nd, 1858. On this day in Lourdes, St. Bernadette once again seeks to fulfill her agreed-upon contract with the Lady. The coming to the grotto... Remember, she was supposed to come there for 15 days in a row. Once there, she holds the lighted candle and falls into a rapture while praying the rosary. God rewards those who fulfill their contracts, who fulfill their agreements. We too have contracts with God. We have our baptismal vows. Some of us have followed the lead of St. Louis de Montfort and the request of Our Lady at Fatima and consecrated ourselves and all our belongings to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. We have contracted with her. She herself made a contract with God by taking a vow of perpetual virginity as a child. She was not willing to break it even when the angel Gabriel asked her, if she would consider being the mother of God. She said, I do not know man. But then the angel explained that she could keep her contract and yet fulfill the request. She said, yes, fiat, be it done unto me according to thy word. Are we keeping our contracts with God and his holy mother? When we do, he will reward us. She will help us with many things. During her visit with the lady, Bernadette is given a mission Request of the priest that a chapel be built here and that they come in procession. Processions are orderly and they show unity. They produce fruit. Go to the priest to bring order, unity, and fruits into the world. When relating the lady's request to the dean of Lourdes, the Abbe Perramal, He asks, what is the lady's name? Bernadette replies, I do not know, Monsignor Le Le Collier. He lectures her on how she is leading people astray. That all over the world, he said, they will talk about you and the grotto. God gives us things to do, missions to carry out, duties to fulfill. We often have to leave the results to him. When the angel Gabriel made his annunciation to Our Lady, he told her about her cousin Elizabeth. Our Lady had a mission to go and serve her cousin. God did the rest, sanctifying both Elizabeth and John the Baptist and even Zacharias, filling them with the Holy Ghost. God gives us missions too always falling within our duties of our state in life. It may not seem like anything is happening at first. At times, it seems like nothing's going to happen. We leave the results to God. Let us consider reviewing these duties to see where improvements can be made. The dean says to Bernadette, ask the lady her name once more, and when we know her name, we will build her a chapel. And it won't be a little one, I tell you, 
It will be a very big one. Upon leaving the dean, Bernadette exclaims, I am quite happy now. I have carried out my commission. It was on the first Pentecost Sunday that the Holy Ghost, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, descended upon the Blessed Mother and the Apostles in the upper room. On that day, the church was visibly born with 3,000 men converting at the sermon of St. Peter. The Christian ordering had begun. Fruits were already showing. The visible church has been processing to her final goal ever since. By keeping to our duties of our state in life, we will remain in her faithful company of pilgrims, countering the disorder, disunity, and rotten fruits of the revolution that are raging about us.